Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to bring fonts that are in Canva over into Microsoft Word if those Canva fonts cannot be found in Microsoft Word. I have a flyer here open. It simply says Street Food Fest and the name of this font, well, let's deselect it. If you click the font, the frame uh, suggest that you're working with this font right now and you come up here to the top left hand corner and you see that the name of the font is called Antio. Now let's open a new and we're going to go to Google. Antio, we're going to get the spelling there, right? So let's get the spelling. We're going to type it into Google, A-N-T-I-O, Antio font. And press enter. And we're going to go with the first website that shows up. I like to use the fonts.com. I don't see it showing up on the fonts, so let's just use freefonts.co. As that comes up first, we're going to click. Now it tells you the name of the font, it shows you an example of the font, and then right below that you have download font. We're going to download the font. Now these sites can get pretty tricky with the commercials, and be careful to ensure you know which download button you are clicking. For example, uh, download now, download for free. This is actually not for the font. This is like a commercial. It's an ad. And how you would know ads is if you look to the top right hand corner, you see ads and then you see a little X there. So you know not to click that. Now, if we scroll down, right, we'll see the same download font button there. And that just simply means that you already downloaded it. You don't need to download it again. Now, depending on the type of browser that you have, you will have to look in your download folder or your download panel to see if the font was downloaded. I'm using Chrome, the newest version of it. So we're going to go to the top right hand corner of Chrome where they are now hosting their downloads. And where you see this blue arrow here, it suggests that if the arrow is blue, you just recently downloaded something. Now it's not blue anymore because it's done downloading. Now it turned back to dark gray, but we'll still click it and we'll see the font here, Antio, right? Regular and it's a zipped folder, which just means that the fonts are compressed into one folder. Now I won't open the font from here because I need to unzip the folder. So I'll go down to the bottom here um, on my startup menu bar and I'll just click file folder and I'll go to downloads and you'll see the most recent download Antio regular now we're going to right click on that folder and we're going to click extract all it's going to ask you if you um, want files to be extracted to this folder um, you could show extracted files um, when complete or you could unclick it. Do not unclick it, especially if you don't know how to find files on your computer. So I'll just go down to extract. Now, when the zip disappears from the folder, it indicates that the files were extracted. So we'll double click to open that. We'll click on Antio Regular. We'll right click and we'll click cut. Now I'm cutting it out instead of pasting it because I'm not going to need this folder anymore. As long as I get into where I need the font to go, that's all that matters. So I usually like to cut mine out. And we're going to go to our local disk C. This is our internal hard drive. We're going to double click that and then we'll click Windows or double click. We will scroll down to F 
for fonts. Now we could either open this font folder or we could just click it, right click, and we could paste. And it will tell you installing fonts. Now if you want to see what the font folder looks like, you could just double click it. And it will show you all the fonts that are in your computer system. Now we're going to come to Microsoft Word. And we're going to come up here ensuring that the Home tab is there in the ribbon menu. And we'll click the arrow beside fonts. And we're going to scroll along to Antio. So we're going to look for A-N-T-I-O. We click that. Uh, let's just type. Let's just make the font size larger so that you could see. I'm going to take it all the way up to 72. And we're going to type my pro soft word. And there you have it. That's how you get fonts in Canva or fonts or Canva fonts or fonts that you see in Canva into your Microsoft Word program or software. I hope this video was helpful for you. Ensure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in another video. Bye bye now.